Hi, it's Monique. Visit my website, daytimevegan.com, for a ton of vegan breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipes. Hi everyone, it's Monique. I'm here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make vegan milk. Um, there'll be four different recipes. The first one we'll do will be a plain cashew milk. Um, I prefer cashew milk as opposed to other types of vegan milks like almond milk because I feel like cashew milk is like the most blank slate. It's the closest to me, in my opinion, it's the closest to dairy milk because dairy milk doesn't really have much of a flavor to me. It's just like a blank slate. So if you cook with it, make desserts or savory foods with it, the milk doesn't have a flavor that overpowers the seasonings you're using. But when I cook with almond milk and other nut milks, I can taste the almond. I can taste whatever other nut I'm using. So I prefer cashews because I don't really taste anything. I barely taste the cashews. So it's a really good, clean, blank slate if I'm making desserts or savory creamy sauces or creamy soups, things like that. I think that cashew milk, homemade cashew milk is the best flavor, um, the best to cook with. I've tried the store-bought vegan milks, but I don't like them. They have weird aftertaste to me, all of them. And it's so easy to make your own milk, I can't imagine why I would spend all of that money buying the store-bought stuff. So we're going to start with the plain cashew milk. And then I'm going to show you how to make chocolate milk, strawberry milk, and a vanilla cinnamon milk. Um, this was actually very nostalgic for me, making these recipes, because I haven't had chocolate milk or strawberry milk since I was a little girl. And my parents used to buy the little Nesquik syrup things for us to pour, to squeeze in the milk and stir it up. Um, this here, these recipes I have today, taste way better than the unhealthy, syrupy Nesquik stuff. Um, and these are great recipes for children. They're kid approved. Children will love these milks. And I think this is a great recipe. These are all great recipes for you to um, try to make with children if you have small children or small cousins, nieces, nephews, whatever they may be. It would be, I think these recipes would be fun to make with them because I've watched a lot of Ellen Fisher videos. I don't know if you know Ellen Fisher, but her adorable kids. I've noticed from her videos that children love to press the blender button. Like, they, that makes them feel important. Like, they helped cook a meal in the kitchen. So whenever she makes smoothies, she'll let them, one child turn the blender on, the other child turn the blender off. And these milk recipes are just blender recipes. So if you have small children around you, this would be a great recipe to get them in the kitchen, get them learning how to cook vegan meals. So I hope you enjoy these recipes. We'll get to it. Please like the video, subscribe if you enjoy my content, save the video on Pinterest so that you'll remember to try the recipe later, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!
Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it inspired you to make your own homemade vegan milk. As you can see, it's super simple to do. The plain cashew milk is only two ingredients and I use that milk anytime I need to make a creamy recipe like a creamy sauce, soup or dressing. The chocolate and strawberry milks taste better than anything you can make with the Nesquik syrupy stuff. And one thing to note when making your own homemade milk is that it will separate after it's sat for a while. So just shake the bottle up before you drink it or use it in a recipe and it'll be great. And they'll last about a week in the refrigerator. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!